Right folks, I haven't videoed for a few minutes. <sighs> Came through, I don't think I videoed coming through Stoke Camp because it was very windy. Anyway, here's the avenue of trees that I take pictures of usually on my way up from Draycott. This is the Draycott Avenue. It is quite windy. The sun is still out. And uh, I've just walked through a load of mud, but it doesn't really matter now. So this is deja vu. This is the third or fourth time that I've been over here recently. Going through these trees. I think it's the third time actually. It could have been more than that if I'd come from Cheddar. I'm glad I never did that. That would take me so much longer. It was much quicker for me to just come straight up the hill and on the way. Yeah, this is a hike on its own. This bit. Beautiful views. Beautiful views, everyone. Really is gorgeous. Very windy though for the camera. And actually gorgeous. Draycott slights. It's going to be very windy once I get away from these trees. Until I get to Middle Down Reserve. Just starting to feel a little bit weary, I think. Old age is creeping up on me, folks, because when I was younger, I never used to get tired. I could go on and on and on. Just like when I ran marathons. But not anymore. Now I... I just like to take my time. Hence go out on my own a lot because um, you get people a lot fitter than me who haven't had breathing problems. So... Some days I'm fucking whiz away. You know, believe me, at the start of the walks I'm fine. But what I'm pleased about is that I've managed to pass through the areas I won't be able to do in the summer. I'm really happy about it. It could be that the Part of the Westbury Beacon might be available without cows for the butterflies. Um, but you still will have to go through fields of cows to get to it. I expect there is another way up. I've got a feeling there is, but... It's a beautiful day, though. I mean, in two weeks since I last came out and did Westbury and Stoke Camp, we only had one day of sunshine. We had four storms. Hence the need to get out today, drop everything and just get out. And get out early and get over her. The Ukraine is... Uh, under attack. It's all over the news all the time. Nobody's actually going to go and help them fight. And what's annoying me is people make money out of wars, right? We're providing them with arms, apparently. At what price? Hey, at what price? Yeah. Gunslingers are government, are gunslingers no they're not going to bloody their hands they're saying they're helping them out with training and all that they charge them 
It's all a big rip-off. They got these rich Russian oligarchs loaded with billions of money that they keep in our banks. It's all about money and power. Sad really, isn't it? Yeah, when the weather improves, if I do come over here for a short walk in the summer, just to come over to the slights, I'll get up on the top again. Sometimes I do that in the autumn. I don't do summer walks through here. It just depends where I'm coming from. But I've caught up with my walk, some of which I haven't done for a couple of years because of the COVID. Um, it wasn't always possible for me to get out here because there were no buses. Obviously when I had Alberta there was no problem at all when I had my camper van. Now that still looks pretty old cow pack so I think they've, there won't be any cows still. I never used to worry about the cows up here when they had the long horned docile ones. But I noticed last year there was a very big herd um, who didn't look quite so friendly. So, right, I'm going to turn off in a minute when we get to the end of these trees because um, it's going to be very exposed certainly wake me up a bit Right, over and out everyone, I'm going to be going through the gate and heading over These are Draycott's lights they stand out. You can see them when you're right over there on the hills. Right, it's deja vu time. And the battery's about to go again. But here we are. Middle Down Grove. Just come past Draycott's Lights. It's going on for three o'clock in the afternoon. And I've got this lovely walk along here. Yeah. yeah, last time I was here, two weeks ago, I went down that way and through Little Bradley Wood and all that. Today I'm going through Middle, Middle Down Re Reserve. I'm hoping there's no cows in there either. I'm going slightly a different way. I'm not going to go near the ruins. I'm going round the edge. And then when I get to a certain gate, I will decide whether I'm going to get a later bus or try and make the 19 minutes past four bus. I will decide then. I, like I said, I don't, when I had my van, I used to park her in the car park all day. I'd go out all day and never have to think about rushing or washing my time at all. And quite often when I got back to my van, I would have a large Savoy sausage and chips and a can of Coke and sometimes a fish cake, which I would have picked up from the shop. The fish and chip shop. Gone back to Alberta and had my lunch, my tea, and then we'd have a very pleasant drive home. <sighs> yeah. That's what happened. That's what it used to be like. And like I say, she was reliable, really. She was old. She was getting on for 30 on the past. I parted with her. Um, she was starting to get rust 
from living on the seafront, all the salt they used to put down. She wasn't rusty really when I got her. She had what was called a clean bottom, but it uh, she had started to rust in Western, so salty sea air and all that as well. 